I realized that countries where Nigerians are rejected, Ghanaians are welcome, Ghanaians are accepted. Ghanaians are accepted, Nigerians are rejected. So I have been thinking, what is the problem? It's for their kids who are paying house rent for their families, who are the breadwinners of their family. Ghanaians are still going to be giving visas way before the people you claim to love. I mean, I don't make it make sense. How does it, how is it a shameful thing that people are working to put food on the table? People are working with their hands. I you even went for that to say Nigerians do not work when they come to your country. You only see them at the market buying. Where do they get money from? See, forget the fact that some of you will do anything for the money. There are still Nigerians that have conscience, trust me. Hello guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking. If you are new here, hi, my name is Lillian. If you have not subscribed, kindly hit the subscription button, turn on the bell notification, put it on the last one that says all. That way is the only way you get notified anytime I upload a video, go live or make a post. So you guys, without further ado, let's go straight into the video. Kindly like this video and feel free to share this video. Don't forget to leave your comments by the time you understand the video. When I came to Ghana, I was wondering, I hope I'm okay because I fell in love with this country. I mean, if you have been following me for some time, you may have watched a video or videos of me saying that I came to Ghana in 2007. That was the first time I came to Ghana and I was brought here by a Yoruba man that is like an uncle to me for a family friend's barrier at Akweteman. I don't want to mention their names because a lot of you may know them and that is unnecessary, you know, to put them out here. I was so young. When I got here, it's as if I just reconnected with my soul and I just fall in love with the people and their honesty and simplicity. Back then, Accra, Ghana was not what it is today. It was a beautiful country, it's natural beauty with great landscape, but it wasn't as pretty as it is today because now Accra wears a different look entirely. Like her look has been enchanced. Uh, unlike before where she dwells almost on her natural beauty. Now, that is not even the reason I fell in love with this country. When I came to Ghana, what I love about them is the simplicity and the honesty and the people way of life. It was just cool, like just there. Even though I came in March, I mean February stroke March, that's always like a very hot season in Ghana. And I didn't mind, I loved it so much and I love everything about them. I tried their foods and I was able to, you know, blend immediately. But that was not all. When we, when it was time for us to go back to Nigeria, I got home and I started telling my best friend how much I love Ghana and how honest the people are. As young as I was, how did I know that people are honest? Like my host, the daughter of our host took me out to go get some things. I realized that all the places we went around there, like some of the places we went, like cold room, where you will see different fishes and um, all sort of proteins written on a bee, but when you ask them, they have it, except if they have run out of stock. And I know some businesses in my country that put all those pictures at the end of the day they don't sell anything close to what you see so these are some of the little little things that won my heart about Ghanaians. i remember telling my friends how much i loved the country and then i was young i didn't understand the meaning of peace you know so that is that now growing up as an adult i realized that when Ghanaians wants to travel it's a lot easier for them to go to any country of their choice as long as they meet the requirements the visa requirements of that country but the case is not the same for my country people but there was something that is always confusing and that thing is the fact that when a Nigerian applies for nursing visa abroad and a Ghanaian applies for nursing visa, I mean nursing jobs abroad, they set the same examination for them. I am not a nurse. I am not interested in being one. The examination is the same. I think they, there's one they call 
is it i e t or e i t something like that i don't know much about these things i know that some nigerians almost every nigerian struggles to leave the shores of our country except for nigerians who are rich super rich is a lot easier for them to travel because of course you know that money run things money rule the world so but for a regular nigerian you know it's hard for nigerians to travel so i realized that countries where nigerians are rejected Ghanaians are welcome Ghanaians are accepted country where Nigerians are rejected, Ghanaians are accepted. Country where Ghanaians are accepted, Nigerians are rejected. So I have been thinking, what is the problem? We look similar. A white man will barely, eh, he just like, you're African, especially when you say you are from the West Africa. Nigerians and Ghanaians has a lot in common, but why can't they, you know, apply for visa at the same time and get it? Now, when 20 Ghanaian apply for a German visa, <laughs> the German government has tendency to accept 17 Ghanaians and they will end up with three Nigerians. A lot of Nigerians that travel has to go the extra mile to have so much money that so you begin to wonder what is the problem are they not the same africans are we not the same black people are we not serving the same god these two countries are known to be very similar in so many ways uh, we have been doing a lot of intermarriages but at the same time we are not the same right so it has always been a difficult thing for some of us who are you know, we always think, we are free thinkers. We don't think the way the society wants us to think. Like, think because you are my friend. So even if you do bad things, I have to cover you and love you that way because you are my friend. But some of us are not like that. We are the opposite direction. You do anyhow, you collect your potion because I am not responsible for your behavior. So it has been a uh, thing of debate. Why, why, why? Uh, this video is going to help you understand why Ghanaians are always accepted when Nigerians are rejected and why Nigerians are rejected where Ghanaians are accepted. Aji Maxi has a video and he wants to shame Ghanaians practicing the actual meaning of dignity in labor. So in that video, he talked about uh, Ghanaians in Nigeria, Ghanaians in Cameroon, doing minor jobs to survive. And that he even went as far as saying that he, if anyone dares him, he will go and film the fishermen. He will go and make a video of the Ghanaian fishermen in his country and post it on the internet to shame Ghanaians. And I'm like, hello, I thought you have sense. So you have just confirmed it that you don't have sense or what? I mean, since when has it become a crime for working for your bread without scamming people? I mean, Ghanaians are not scamming people. Ghanaians are not um, impersonating other people. So what are you shaming them for? It doesn't make any sense to me, but I wouldn't mind to see a video of this Ghanaian fisherman so here i am wondering <laughs> now at this time if you are still confused why Ghanaians are accepted everywhere in the world they are giving visas and the case is not the same for my people now you know why is it because Ghanaians are well behaved anywhere they go i mean you left your country you went to another country you settled there and you walk there without causing anybody pain you did not steal money from anybody you did not scam anybody you did not any day carry a gun in people's country if they do it in ghana of course it's their country i mean in other african countries or even countries abroad you will not hear cases like that so now you still want to know why they are giving visas where we can't get places where we cannot access because we are nigerians Ghanaians are assessing these places because of what their good behavior. Ajim said he want to make a video of the fishermen and post it. And here I am wondering, is this man all right? Why not make a video of Ghanaian fishermen, post it on the internet. 
thinking you are shaming them, you are helping Ghanaians improve their image. I mean, who will have a problem that you are living in this country and you are doing so without causing them any pain? They don't have to be wary of you. They don't have to be careful with you. Because of course they know you will not steal anything from them. You are not going to scam them. You are just going to wake up and go straight to do your minor jobs. And I mean, where is the shame in this? Or is it that the society has completely gone nuts? You want to shame people that are legit make it make sense does it make sense to you it doesn't make any sense to me this is a confirmation that i do not support nonsense i do not support rubbish i do not hide people because of what because i live in their country it is because they're actually good and that gym has proven me right now i am not i told you guys i'm not subscribed to the channel it's hard to believe but see i am not subscribed to that channel uh, let me go and see the video and every time we talk about nigerians in ghana nigerians in south africa nigerians traveling every time we bring that and issue. you guys what i don't understand is it still doesn't make any sense how do you shame someone who is working with their hands to survive you see what i'm talking about a gym and his aged woman his aged wife the woman who he left his baby and the baby mama to suffer alone to raise that boy to go and marry is times two older than Ajim. That woman is like Ajim's mother. Ajim is married to a woman much, much older than him because of money. And together they have gone to open some nonsense lab. Because the woman is working and Ajim is sitting down and mocking people who are working legitimately to put food on the table who are working legitimately to make sure they do not cause harm to their host country Ajim is shaming uh, Ghanaians in Nigeria and Ghanaians in Cameroon the reason you will never hear Ghanaians I mean the reason you will never hear Nigerians complain about Ghanaians in Ghana is because of their good attitude a Ghanaian will live in your house he will not stress you a Ghanaian will not fear the fear in the heart of that Ghanaian man will keep him to behave himself until he comes back to his country anytime you hear maybe a weird thing about a Ghanaian maybe in western countries is definitely a Ghanaian who has lived there for a very long time or a Ghanaian who was born and raised there or maybe you hear something like that about a Ghanaian in Ghana but it's not common for you to hear that a Ghanaian man defile your child your underage child in another country you will not hear that a Ghanaian man was among the robbers in another country so if you know any bring them so but this man feels like it's okay for him to shame people because he just wanted life the fast way he went and married and on, like he went and married an elderly woman so Ajim abandoned his son to go get married to an elderly lady because of money so but after that the money still didn't come Ajim is back on the streets of youtube trolling and mocking people who are legitimately walking to put food on the table hi jim i dare you to go film this Ghanaians fisherman and post on your channel i leave you to do it then you will know that some nigerians still have conscience go and do it go and film nigeria Ghanaians. go i give it a go ahead to so go and film people's father who are paying school fees for their kids who are paying house rent for their families who are the breadwinners of their family who didn't abandon their kids like you did to go live with a woman that is old enough to be your mother because of money Ajim is shaming his fellow black people for working legitimately to put food on the table it's okay you are what you represent of course for you to make your type of videos we already know where you belong if you're not a nigerian i don't see the need for you to have taken the route that you did if not for the fact that you are greedy and you would do anything for the money i hope that this money you're looking for you find it because there is a place called god when you do all this your nonsense there is a place called god so if you have completely let go of that place, then I don't know what to tell you.
but I dare you to make a video of Ghanaian fishermen in Cameroon post it on the internet. Ghanaians are still going to be giving visas way before the people you claim to love. I don't make it make sense. How does it, how is it a shameful thing that people are working to put food on the table? People are working with their hands. I you even went further to say Nigerians do not work when they come to your country. You only see them at the market buying. Where do they get money from? See, forget the fact that some of you will do anything for the money. There are still Nigerians that have conscience, trust me. There are still Nigerians that have conscience. You go to somebody's country, you don't want to work. So how do you eat? Okay, by doing what? No, Ajim, tell us now. What do Nigerians abroad do? Apart from a few Nigerians, like in Ghana here, a few Nigerians are here doing businesses. You know, the rest, you know what they do. And I, in the past, have brought some Nigerians to my channel, interviewed them. I live in a place where, in the whole of this building, it's only two Nigerians that are legitimately working. Myself and one, one other person. The rest, I cannot vouch for them. I cannot say, okay, this is what they do for a living. So now, if you want to do that now, you begin to shame people. I will not do that to anybody because they are my country people. I kind of hold them some sort of respect no matter what i will not be the one to condemn them i will not be the one to film them and post but what if you do that and someone decides to do the same to nigerians in ghana and south africa i hope you know that you have done them dirty i dare you to do that and i believe you are going to see tons of videos you see videos on youtube you are just endangering nigerians when you do it but i'm not stopping you i want you to i dare you to do it I dare you to film people who are legitimately working with their hands to provide for their families. You who has no life, you have no responsibility. One child that God gave you, you abandoned that child for the sake of money. You, that for that woman to even marry you, I think she's an evil person. I mean, who marries a man like Ajim, if not for the fact that she's old? She's old and desperate and just want to settle down. Otherwise, who will marry like you are? I look at you, finish me, marry you. Oh, I'm waiting for that video to come out. But whatever you are doing, just know that you are endangering Nigerians. And I think your motive is gradually, you're getting there. Your mission is almost, you are, you are getting there. You just want to hurt Nigerians in a very bad way. Because by the time you do that, and someone decides to take a revenge, because of course not on your people because from day one you guys let me let you know that cameroonians do not support Ajim maxi i used to get dm from cameroonian people telling me how they hate and reject this guy they hate his style of content they are not in support of whoever Ajim does not in any way represent them cameroonians are beautiful people if you have had a dealing with a cameroonian especially their women you understand what i'm talking about this guy is just out here causing news and by the time he do this and someone decide to take a revenge on cameroon on cameroonians in ghana is it fair seriously i am not angry with Ajim. i'm happy that he made that video Ghanaians will continue to excel and build a good image and they will continue to build a bright future for their generation yet unborn. I am proud to be associated with the good people of Ghana because man you stand out anywhere you go. You're not a stressed person. A Ghanaian can be here in Nigeria. The only thing you hear is that there's a Ghana person in this house but not for the wrong reasons. When you go there he or she is selling maybe pop off they oh god god bless ghana god bless the good people of ghana Ajim, go on ahead post the video we'll be here waiting guys i'm done with this video i'm not angry so forget the fact that sometimes my energies go up okay this is a sign that ghanaians are good and god will continue to bless your country and that is why your country they reward for your labor they reward for your way of life is the reason your country will continue to be in peace and i pray that nothing will threaten the peace that you enjoy in ghana not even politics not even money yeah that is all i can say like i mean have we lost it completely to the extent that we forgot that there is dignity in labor all right i'm done with this video do your homework now you know why nigerians are always rejected and Ghanaians are accepted. 
all over the world feel free to bash me <laughs> i don't care all right i'll see you guys in another video bye